Oh, hey, folks, how you doing? This is Paul. I wanted you folks to feel a little bit better. If uh, Some of you have come in and you've checked out my channel. I want you to see a Chaps by Ralph Lauren shirt. Because, like, this way, as I'm dressed appropriately, you will you might think that I'm not a douchebag. Because, you know, I always call everyone stupid fuck zombies and everything that come to this channel. And if they don't have sex, you know, they're just zombies. Well, why don't I call myself a piece of crap? I mean, I always do anyway, don't I? Um, anyways, now you can feel better. And you can use that to relate the validity of what I'm saying it might make you believe a little bit more in what I'm saying, even though in reality, I'm a failure at everything I've ever done. Do you understand? So now you might take a little bit more street cred because honestly, folks, this is a Ralph Lauren shirt. Okay. I want to show you that. It makes a difference. It does. It makes a difference. In fact, I want to show you because it says, Chaps by Ralph Lauren. Okay, just be aware of that because now you can feel a lot better. You know what I mean? Now you can feel a lot better. Now let's get on with it and let's take a look and see what you could have learned had you been listening to my channel for a while. Let's see what all of the copycats are now saying because I'll guarantee you without looking at this that. The over obvious will be addressed. Let's have a look now at Drudge. Okay, Drudge. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look and let's see if you could have heard it here first. You think that's possible? Or am I a fuck douche? Is that possible? I'm wearing a nice shirt now, folks. It's, it's Ralph Lauren. Think about it. Let's have a look. Israel's prime target is secretive Hamas commander. Civilians given rifles. Oh, my God. Can you believe it? Talk about the over obvious. What do you think? I don't think they should give it to them because then the Jews can't walk around and tell us about how superior they are in their soul. They would never dream of harming another person. They don't want that in their transium, for God's sakes. You don't want to even think about doing harm to another person. Just kumbaya, right? How's that working out for you? Hmm? Israel, how's that working out for you, Israelis? Huh? Would you like a gun so that you can watch your baby not get its head chopped off? Huh? You think? Maybe? Talk about over obvious, huh? It's just remarkable the things you could have learned first if you came to my channel three days ago, huh? But you're fuck donkeys, you're stupid fuck whole fuck ass, stupid fucking retards, sub retards, zombies. My subs, of course, excluded. I'm so happy that number 56 jumped on. Do you see what I'm telling you? Uh, that one person came back. Thank goodness they did. Because they learned three days in advance what it took fucking three days for the mainstream media to report on. They had to make sure the coast was clear. Know what I mean? Chaps, Ralph Lauren. I'm going to keep pointing that out to you, folks. I'm telling you, it means something. It's a lot more credibility now than my last report uh, 45 minutes ago. All right, let's... Uh, <clears throat> oh, please, not this again. When it takes me off the Internet, I hear about the Republican convention. That's not the way. Let's have a look here. Let's get back to Drudge, shall we? Talk about an ugly uniform. That Denver uniform looks like a ripoff of the Miami Hurricanes with the letter D instead of an a UM or a U or whatever it is. It's horrible. Civilians given rifles. Hmm. Ooh. Official calls for a nuclear option. Would you like to take a look at the nuclear option? 
Ooh, let's see. What was I talking about earlier today, huh? Will cooler heads prevail or will there be a nuclear option? Let's have a look. We'll have to do this one at a time. Official calls for nuke option. Let's hear what this says. You want to piss off the fucking uh, Arabs that have a lot of oil? You want to piss them off? Okay, it says, Israeli officials call for, quote, unquote, I'm not making this up, doomsday. Nuclear missile option. Let me tell you something, Israelis. I want to make this perfectly clear to you. I don't like you people. I don't respect you people. But I want to save your lives. How's that? Don't you dare get the world involved in a problem that you were too stupid and arrogant to handle on your own by simple means of common sense. Don't involve the war to a world war state for your ignorance and stupidity and arrogance. You don't want to um, arm your populace or make them believe it's necessary? Then don't involve us into a world war with you. Nonetheless, as regrettable as it may seem, I'm on your side. An Israeli lawmaker is calling for her, oh, it's a woman, uh, Oive, uh, her nation's military to use nuclear warfare in response to attacks by Hamas. Folks, Lindsey Graham, with his bombing of the Iranian oil field ideas, will suffice here. Okay? I don't even want to get into this fucking stupid cunt. Do you understand? I'm sorry. I know a lot of you will get mad at me. We're not going into this stupid cunt's idea for nuclear war. Got it? Hopefully cooler heads will prevail. You want to let the world light the world on fire? Let a, let a nuke go in the Middle East. Jesus H. Goddamn Christ. Are you people fucking stanots? Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself. And I'm actually pretty smart. I am talking to myself. Sure, I have a million people following this channel. And I promise you I'd wear chaps by Ralph Lauren. Right here. Look. Look, chaps by Ralph Lauren. Got it? Shirt makes the man, folks. We're not going to read it because I don't have the patience today to go into that, okay? Official call for nuke option. Civilians given rifles, you don't say. Well, now you can't be superior in your souls. What about your pure souls? Huh? Israelis, don't you want to be pure in your soul? You don't want to think about having to do some harm to somebody who's going to decapitate your infant? Jesus H. Christ Almighty. 10,000 assault rifles being distributed to Israeli civilians and uh, Israeli civilian security teams. Okay. Israel's National Security Minister, Itamar ben Gavir announced Tuesday that 10,000, pardon me, I know I just massacred that in um, Yiddish or whatever it is. <laughs> um, okay, Tuesday, the 10,000 assault rifles are being purchased and distributed to civilian security teams in communities along the country's borders. Let me ask you something, uh, fucking Israelis. Why don't you just station a couple of troops and let them sleep in your daughter's room? What do you think? We've got it in our constitution that that's not allowed. It, you know, um, it, it's called, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of this. Uh, it's called uh, boarding. What, what's the name of that? Harboring, uh, housing, whatever it's called, of troops. Stationing of troops. You're not allowed to do it in people's homes unless it's a real serious thing. So my recommendations for the Israelis, 
are make sure you get these security forces and make sure you bed them down in your daughter's uh, room. Okay, I'm sure there's room on the floor. Just tell Bubby to Bubby to move aside. Okay, maybe Bubby sleep or maybe I can sleep with Bubby. That might be a be better answer, actually. Folks, do you know how embarrassing this is? Do you see how superior the Goyim are to the Israelis? Do you see this now? Do you see how some piece of shit that just puts on a Chaps by Ralph Lauren shirt and, and was in a, a, a stinky t-shirt just moments before this video could make the Israelis look like what they are, a bunch of pompous, arrogant asses? Huh? And by the way, to the Israelis... Get ready to cleanse your soul because they've got 150, if not more, innocent people. Many of them, I think, are not even Israeli. And they are going to be very likely, I can't even say it, but their final moments on earth are going to be anything but pleasant. And evidently, it's all going to be televised for the amusement of okay and the members of get it we can't say it here they might even pixelate my mouth out there huh all right so um uh let's just make sure that we get those security teams inside every house. May I would prefer to, if I was a security team, I'd prefer to sleep with the daughters, okay? But if not, put them in there with Booby, okay? Oh my goodness. Can you believe this, folks? Is this an embarrassment? This coming from a person who's a failure at everything he ever did. That just put on a chap by Ralph Lauren shirt, for God's sakes. Smarter than a Jew? Oy vey, as I've uttered many times before, in disgust. Okay, Gaza's only power plant runs out of fuel. Uh, Erdogan, uh, Erdogan, or whatever his name is, the leader of Turkey, calls Israeli response massacre. You ain't seen nothing yet. Do you understand? No, 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 you ain't seen nothing yet. Bow, bow. Uh, baby, you just ain't seen nothing yet. Bow, bow. It's something that you're never going to forget. Bow, bow. No, 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 You ain't seen nothing yet. That goes back to Bachman Turner Overdrive. Uh, great Canuck band out of Canada. I think they were Bachman Turner Overdrive. That was really the thing in the early 70s. Let me tell you something. About 72 there. That was right about where it was. All right. So you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay. Um, uh, Khomeini, uh, that must be the leader of Iran. I don't know. I'm not an expert on this. It threatens greater disaster, quote unquote, greater disaster. Okay. Make sure you get those troops stationed in your daughter's bedrooms there, Israelis. Okay. Rockets fired from Syria. Risk spills over into Egypt. How terrorists beheaded kids and burned families alive. I made a video on it, folks. I suggest you watch it. Then you fucking fuck donkeys can go and watch Antonio Banderas on Dancing with the Stars. Okay? Or Will Ferrell or whatever it is. You can go watch that later. Watch my video first. Okay? Um. Uh, BLM celebrates, we'll let you figure out what that means. I think the B refers to the opposite color of white, okay? Uh, Michigan rally cheers Hamas. I'm sure there'll be a, a great cheer uh, going up in Minnesota, Minnesota around St. Paul, huh? You think? You folks wanted to give away your country. You demanded to give away your country. 
Why shouldn't you give this to all these people? They would adapt to our way of life. Wrong. We have had to adapt to their way of life, and that includes this garbage coming from south of the border. Got it? No, you don't get it. This is all what you demanded, not wanted, demanded. <sighs> Campuses plot, quote, day of resistance to what? To Israel? What? Campus anti-Semites plot day of resistance in support of Hamas. By the way, what do you do over there? What do you Arabs do over there when you have like a head cold or you have like a lot of phlegm? How do you speak your language? I mean, everything is how in the Jews too, isn't it? I mean, what the hell do you go around spitting on phlegm on each other? I know. I This is getting, this is getting out of hand, isn't it? Uh, just try to bear with me. Okay. I love it. Uh, folks, do you see this? Folks, I think we need to see that again. Talk about not letting the bed get cold. Talk about not letting the bed get cold. Let's take a look at that again. Oh, my God. Folks, do you see the paraglider there? They didn't waste any time on that one. Let me tell you something. Can you imagine being the person in this paraglider? He's probably, he or she is probably still alive and kicking. Can you imagine? This is going to be held up uh, forever in the um, in that world as heroic. I mean, I mean, it does have this kind of uh, win one for the Gipper kind of thing. I hate to say that. Score one for the underdog. Then again, if you were going into Bam, Alabama, they you'd be full of holes. You understand? It'd be sort of like duck hunting. It was that duck hunter. What was the name of that show that with all the duck hunters and uh, Sean Hannity in his uh, religious uh, phase where he wanted to go live as a hillbilly? What was the name of that place? Duck hunters or something. What was the name of that? I, I can't even remember, but uh, whatever. I, we're not going to get into it. I would simply want you to see the imagery of how quick they have adapted to this. Okay. Talk about not letting the bed get cold. Not letting the blood come out onto the ground and not um, not cleaning it up completely. And they've already got propaganda posters out already. Brilliantly put, by the way. Kind of shows the uh, underdog uh, uh, getting the upper hand there, don't you think? Okay, I guess this is an update here. It says, uh, day five, Israel preps ground invasion. Gaza will be raised, that's in quotation, SEAL team for hostage rescues. I wish them success. What can I tell you? I wish them success. If anyone can do it, it's the Israelis. They had a raid on Entebbe, and they did it in Entebbe. That was when Jimmy Carter was president. And they had a whole bunch of people that were being held hostage, I think, in an airport, wasn't it? Um, in Entebbe. And uh, they went in with the guns ablazing, folks, and they got out most of those hostages. And one of the poor guys that was a hostage, he was like a Greenpeace kind of guy. And he saw the, the, the guns and the men coming in to wipe out the terrorists and uh, or the, the what they were calling the terrorists at that time. And the guy was eating and he dropped his tray and put his arms up and said, fantastic. And they shot him and killed him too. So uh, lay low, uh, victims, this time lay low. And they've got all the usual propaganda. Brave woman who saved the village. And it's some bubby that saved the whole village. Surviving the rave massacre. I told you about that yesterday. I, I can't even imagine it. Maybe she buried herself in sand. I don't know. Whatever it was, she did something pretty clever. He or she or they. Sorry about my pronoun usage. Had to cover all bases there. Uh, families of American hostages plead for assistance. Uh, do you know what the term falling on deaf ears is? Do you know what that means? It means when you see a pretty beautiful 30-year-old woman 
uh, beautiful, spread out in death's awkward signature. Don't uh, hold out too much hope. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Hurts me to say that. These people are innocent. They didn't do anything. They certainly didn't deserve what was done to them. My opinion. It's just my opinion. Other people would tell you differently. I add that quickly. Update. Uh, how Israel is how Israelis feared security services failed to stop wait a minute. Update. How Israel's feared security services failed to stop assault. It's called making the people into mindless communists. That's what it is. You make them like little infants and babies sucking a pacifier. So you relieve their responsibility and they can remain pure and they don't want to harm anyone. They'd never dream of it. Or you can put a rifle in their hand and you can tell them that they have a choice to blow the fucking head off somebody if they're trying to decapitate their child. If your child means anything to you at all. Or your bubby. Or anything else. Sorry to be brutal here, folks. But this is reality. New York City on alert for lone wolf attacks. Sorry, that just popped up. Folks, this is another thing. I hate to get into this, but it's scary. Now, I showed you the propaganda poster here with the uh, flying Dutchman there um, uh, from Palestine or whatever it was in the paraglider, okay? We've got the other side of the coin now. And it's dangerous. Hang on, because I've got to show this to you, and it's worrisome. Anti-Israeli chants, punishable by fine of up to 3,000 in UK. And I read this story last night. Um, they're taking down the Israeli flag because the government position is to support Israel. They're taking it down, dropping it down on the ground, and putting the Palestinian flag up. Now, folks, there are what you call freedom of speech rules or laws, and you're allowed to burn an American flag. That's a form of free expression. And this is becoming very shocking to me, that the governments are now going to make you side with Israel. And if you do anything else and criticize in any way, you're going to face fines and jail time, perhaps. Okay. Glorifying terror. Now, this is where we start bringing out the thought police. Folks, please go to Dancing with the Stars. This is going to get real deep here. Go to Dancing with the Stars. Go to CNN. Go to Fox. For you on the right that think you're really on the right. Or Republicans. They give me a good tax break on my pool in the back. We still want this, but uh, we get a good tax break in the back on the pool. You fucking idiots. You disgusting, foul, lecherous pieces of garbage. You better listen to. Glorifying terror, quote unquote, anti-Israeli chants. And flag waving could result in police action. Home security, suela, braver men, sound familiar, oy vey? Warns. Uh, suela, braver men, warns. Now, are you ready for this? Anti-Israeli chants and flag waving could result in police action. The home security, warns. oy vey, Miss Braverman? And I have to read this to you so that you understand this. That's why I told you, virtually all of you except my subs, please go to Fox News. They'll explain it to you, okay? Slowly. She warned, this is, I assume, Miss, Mrs. Braverman, normally legal actions, uh, quotations, may not be legitimate when intended to glorify acts of terrorism. How the fuck, Mrs. Braverman, you fucking stupid Jew, how do you know what people are thinking? Can you enter into their minds, you stupid Jew? 
Can you understand what people are thinking? Are you now responsible for the thoughts of people? God damn you fucking Jews. Do you know that you're going to lead us to fucking World War III? I can feel it. So now you're going to be the thought police, aren't you? Now, by the way, folks, my subs understand this. They're smart people. You go to fucking uh, Sean Hannity or whatever it is over there on Fox News. They'll explain it to you all the way. I'm only going to give you the stupid person version of this, okay? So now Miss Braverman is going to determine when people have um, the intent in their brain that they are promoting or that they have a true belief in destroying Israelis. Is that how it's going to be? Huh? Mrs. Braverman? God damn it. You know what, folks? We are done!